If you like to build stuff, you need to come visit us at Electronic Parts Outlet. We have motors, gears, sprockets, timing pulleys, belts, pneumatics, and electromechanical devices, microcontrollers, sensors, interfaces, servo connectors, cables, Anderson Power Pole, FRC approved batteries, crimp terminals, and good tools. Come see us while planning your robot. And out of towners, please make this a stopping point when you come to Houston for World Championships. So now we're going to talk a little bit more about the auto shifting. So we've done some little preliminary testing on it and we figured out that immediately shifting from um, low gear to high gear, can uh, maintaining the same throttle level, can, you can experience uh, slight jerking issues if you go from 100% low gear to 100% high gear. So we want to alleviate some of those issues so there's a smooth transition into that. So first off, to detect when we need to go from low to high, we have an RPM sensor and we can correlate, we can map that to feet per second, and we have um, thresholds for when we should go from high, or from low to high, to high to low. From our first test, we figured out that we need to have a little, um, we need to take an approach similar to how you, you might drive a manual car, um, in the sense that you wouldn't be putting your foot down while your, your clutch is in. Um, so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna have um, a little dead time first off, this, this allows for the uh, dog to catch up and also we're going to have an exponential decay map on the, uh, the throttle. So one simple approach is to start with an, an equation for exponential decay. So the throttle at any given time can be represented by um, 1 minus e to the negative t of a, over a constant. So one, because we're mapping our throttle from zero to one, that makes it easy. So as time goes to infinity, it will approach a value of one. So all we can do is we can say um, at around 300 milliseconds, we'd like to be at half throttle. So solving this equation, we can figure out a constant. Now this is an arbitrary number, but what this means is that around that given time, we will have half throttle. So the map, the overall mapped throttle looks a little bit like this. So say you're, you're at a certain threshold that um, you decided that you need to, you're at a high level of low gear and you need to go into high gear. So what you do is you immediately drop your throttle down, something called dead power. Now we, we put this in because if you drop immediately to zero with these gearboxes, the robot will immediately stop and then you can have some hysteresis problems going from, hey, I'm currently in high, now I need to go back to low. So there needs to be this minimum level of throttle that you go to. And we're playing around with dead time, so how long you wanna be at that throttle before you actually start this exponential. And we've offset this exponential equation by that low threshold. And then you can tweak your exponential rise time. The definition of rise time is halfway through the exponential curve. And ideally, you take this out to about, this would take a little bit longer to actually approach that value, so you can have a hard cutoff right here. And so a bit of testing has shown that this, this, uh, this, proof of co this is a proof of concept and this, this idea has improved how auto shifting go, um, works.